Guys, we have a 1983 yellow submarine up for your consideration on this fine Thursday. Just put some new flotation devices on it and tuned her up. Justin Bartley would cringe if he saw me rode this thing. <laughs> I'm no trike racer, that's for sure, but uh, I can tell you, when I first got on this thing, the thing that struck me the most is how smooth it is. It's like floating on a cloud. The suspension is really, really plush. And uh, ripping down the driveway here, it just felt like there's zero vibration. Uh, must be a really well-balanced motor. You know I'm a Yamaha guy, four-stroke Yamaha. It's absolutely bulletproof. Um, this is a chain drive. This is Yamaha's sport quad uh, for that era, the 200E. And um, has a headlight on it, uh, high flotation tires. It's got a brand new set of tires on it. The uh, plastics are all original, as is the seat. It's just a really mint, low mileage survivor, uh, with very low miles on it. Um, Five-speed, semi-automatic transmission, and uh, pretty much indestructible. These are true three se four-season uh, ATC. You can ride it in the snow. You can ride it in the mud. You can take it pretty much anywhere, especially with these new tires. It's got lots of grip on it, and it'll surely give you miles of smiles. It even has a little hitch on the back of it. So if you wanted to use it uh, around to tow the kids in the snow on a toboggan or maybe uh, use it for gardening around the house or whatever, you could tow a, tow a lawn cart around. Pretty much good for that kind of use. Uh, has drum brakes in the front and uh, a drum brake set up in the rear. Chain drive. So um, is there anything you'd like to add about this one, Junior? No, I, th I think these were good. This was a good era for these mortars, the, the small bore singles. Um, just because they weren't corked up like they like they come today from the factory. And uh, this is right when there was kind of a performance war. Uh, the trikes were heavily in development. Um, this is the chain drive model, not the shaft drive. So so definitely uh, a, a plus there. But guys, it, it is what it is. It's, it's a nice lower hour. 200 e trike it's got new tires on it. it doesn't need anything so just take it and ride it across the lake they do say these flow i've never tried that but it is yellow so if it doesn't you can have a submarine <laughs> uh true again true four season atc the work order here i've got uh the they spent nine and a half hours in the detail shop three hours in the service department I'll go over what we did on the detail shop steam cleaned it hot water power washed it uh, touched up the frame side rails Touched up the engine and painted the exhaust, the high temp black. Uh, the plastic was renewed with a plastic renew, a cleaner. Uh, the handlebars were polished, the chrome on the bars. The um, whole bike was detailed top to bottom, giving a rotisserie detail, as we like to call it here. The service department took the carb off, cleaned the carb in the carb cleaning tank, rejetted it as they thought it was a little bit too lean. Uh, put a brand new air filter in it and oiled it. Uh, changed the oil with Maxima 10W40. The wheels, we took the wheels off and put a brand new set of tires on it, all three, brand new. And let's see, the parts list. <coughs> oh my God, allergies, Woo, thank you, excuse me. Three Duro HF240 tires, uh, Maxima 10W40 oil, twin air filter, and then of course shop supplies, paint and that kind of thing. So not much in the way of parts, it was mostly labor. Uh, total with the tires, and uh, everything else I mentioned, and service, parts and labor, was $1,579 on the work order. And well, this is 1984, the year I graduated high school, over 35 years ago, 36 years now. Um, it's safe to say it's good for another 36 years of trouble-free riding. And if you wanted, wanted to add a vintage or a classic ATC, they don't make these anymore. These were, um, for some reason, they stopped making them. There's a bunch of bunch of reasons why I'm sure but uh I don't know exactly so I'm not going to say but look at the front fender on that thing it's got the vent the venting in the back of it and uh the huge Yamaha um mud flap on it that's kind of cool definitely a neat piece graphics are beautiful red red white and yellow or red yellow and black and uh I can't say you're gonna have any luck finding another one this nice has a flag mount back here it's got the hitch on the back and it's it's in perfect shape so 
If you have any questions about it, give us a call at 860-454-7024. Good luck bidding on her, and God bless America.